scratch that if i'm going to be pouring into my partner i expect my partners to be pouring into me and if you're not then i can do this by myself how you coming you know yeah. i'm back in this bitch what's good let's get this understood bitch i wish a bitch would yeah yeah huh bitch you know the vibes please don't blow my high i hate a bitch that lie yeah, yeah you ho these hoes be in disguise get the fuck up out my face cause i ain't got no time if it ain't about the cake or if it ain't about a dime what's going on j squad plum squad it's your girl j you already know welcome back to j bobs where's a whole lot of great vibes going on big period today's video you can tell by the title of the thumbnail it's a q and a video i feel like it's about that time i'm not really getting any more questions in the designated area that i told you to put your questions questions in the comment section are totally different i answer them as i'm going through the comments well, i'm just like checking the status of like how the video did over time right but i made not one but two posts when you go to my channel and you click the community board i made two posts for you to put your questions so that we can sit down and do this q a like this and then i put a post on instagram and i got a few i got a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and knock out the one on instagram because i gotta go through my pictures i took screenshots of the questions so we're gonna go through the questions from the instagram first pick the shirt eat <laughs> yeah and not mm -hmm. first question how has school been going for you and what's your major in i'm gonna first say i am going to school for a business administration degree i'm attending online classes for a community college i should and i could transfer to a four-year university and i'm thinking about if i do to take up um some type of degree in like the, for like technology but i'm just taking it one step at a time but school has been going it's decent it started off very like okay we got this and then it was like oh this is the downfall of online school and the only downfall that i really have is like that first day of class the instructor is sending you these webinar videos um to say like you know this is what the course is going to be about this is what i expect scratch that not even telling you what to expect read the syllabus it'll tell you what i expect and if you have any questions you know don't be afraid to email me at any time if i don't get back to you in 24 hours i'll definitely get back to you within 48 but all of that is cap y'all like this past Friday, I finished up my classes with A's and I took summer classes. It's always that one instructor. I don't know what it is, but it'd be them instructors that be like, hit me up. If you have any concerns, don't think that you're bothering me. You're not bothering me. And they don't respond. That's the only real downfall about these online classes is that when I do have questions and I rarely have questions, I make sure that I try to figure it out before I come to you with the question. But when I come to you with the question, you don't respond and I'm still just lost. And so I look onto my other classmates to help me out and they be just as confused as me. And I be like, you know what? We just gonna do the work. We gonna do the work submit the work and we're gonna see what the grade is if the grade bad then i'm doing something wrong but if the grade is good but the feedback is like misleading for example one of my courses human resource class every assignment his feedback is like i should go and reference this because i'm not submitting the the right whatever but i'm making a 90 and a 95 and 100 so what but one of my classmates told me that it's got to be a default message because they're getting the same thing and it's just like i get it you have all of these students this year round and you don't want to keep typing up a fresh message so you have something that's just copy and paste but please know what you're copying and pasting because the feedback got to match the grade that's all i want to say i'm very excited this past fall i got an email saying that i was on the president's list that really blew my mind just a few weeks ago i got invited to a honor and I thought that was pretty freaking dope. My grades have been phenomenal. And you know what's so crazy and sad at the same time? I had an entrepreneurship class over the summertime. I don't know if I was trying to do my work too late at night. Long story short, I missed an assignment. I don't even know how I missed it. Like, I missed half of it. I didn't miss the whole thing. I missed half of it. Like, it was like three pages long and I only did the first page so my a turned into a b every other grade has been a's and that one 
little mistake and unfortunately the policy is like they don't do makeup work they don't accept late work there was nothing in the world that i could have done this person is asking for a life update i feel like i've done a life update to sum it all up in one of my previous videos um doing a life update for a q a is a whole separate video until i really dig deep into what's been going on. Let's just pick up where we are and let's just go, right? How's life been for you mentally and spiritually? I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better. And I feel like that, I'm stronger, I'm wiser, and I'm better. Is things how I want them to be? Absolutely not. You gotta realize some things that we go through, we've gone through them before. They just come in different forms, maybe you're not dealing with that person, but that thing that you were dealing with is now within this person or within this situation. I feel like we all relive things, especially if you haven't learned from them. They come back around in some type of way. And I just feel like, you know, with certain things that I've gone through before, going through them now, I'm just stronger, wiser, and I'm better. And so I'm making different decisions. Spiritually, I've, I feel like I'm, taking more control of the spiritual connection that I want, not that I need. You either want it or you don't want it. Do you need it? Yeah, but I feel like it's, it's gotta be more of a want. How long left? But it says, how long left have you got of school? I should be done at the end of 2024. And then not only that, when registration opens up, y'all, if you don't register for them classes, Right then and there, you also put yourself in a chance of having to graduate later because if that class is filled up, then you gotta wait till the class reopens, which is another semester. What made you get another dog and why? Oh Lord Jesus. My sister had got a puppy and brought her puppy over here and I fell in love with her puppy. I'm like, OMG, because I haven't held a puppy since 2013. I didn't get Pixie when she was a puppy. Like she was a puppy, but she wasn't a baby. She brought her baby over here, her baby puppy. And so I never got to experience like having a baby pup. So I fell in love. Of course, I ain't take her dog, I let her have it. But then my mom was started breeding her, her dogs. Of course, she was trying to, you know, get rid of the puppies because she couldn't keep all them dogs. I text her and say, you know, yeah, I want a dog. I didn't really think that I was really gonna get the dog. And then I went to South Carolina and I don't know why. It was it was literally just two puppies at my aunt's house. And my sister was taking one and the other one, I, I, think, I think the communication was if my mama came back and that dog was still there, she would take it back. But if we took it, then we took it. Plus, I paid my mama for the dog, so. And when I let them out the cage, it, just, it was just me and them outside. Me, him, and his brother outside. And so when I opened up the cage, I stepped back and I was like, come here, come here, come here. And he came to me. And we've been locked in ever since. But I, I, I did want a big dog. I didn't think that it would be a pit that I was gonna get. But I did want a big dog. And now we stuck like Chuck and we have ups and downs. And I didn't even think about all the things that you should think about before getting another dog, especially when it's baby and you got a time and ooh, money. I don't even wanna talk about it. But you fucking crazy. Let go of the damn leash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking Pixie, not you. Come here. How is my dad? My dad is great. Um, he's still himself. He's still funny, goofy. Like, he is the same man that he has always been. When you tell them, Padre, now it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Since birth. When I slide. A little bit more of me has brought him out of himself. Because you know, the vibes. 
But he he's doing good, you guys. Thank you so much for asking about him. Do I prefer being single or in a relationship? I prefer being happy, having my peace, being stable, daily reassurance, wherever that is. Whether it's single, because I'm giving it to myself, or if I'm in a relationship, because not only am I feeding myself that, but my partner is also feeding that into me. And so when it comes to being single or in a relationship, if I'm going to be pouring into my partner, I expect my partners to be pouring into me. And if you're not, then I can do this by myself. How you coming, you know? Are you still cool with royalty? Y'all, if I was to see royalty down the street, if she didn't see me, I don't see her. <laughs> but if she see me and I see her, hey girl, that's it. I was still staying with my dad, I was on live, and this unknown number kept calling and calling and calling and calling, and I was a little lit. And so I eventually answered, and it was her, and it was her wanting to apologize. Now, I'ma just say, your disrespect, sh I'm sorry, let's switch it. Your apology should be just as loud as your disrespect, but I let her have it. I honestly felt like it was more, the apology was more so for her and not for me because it had been months. So I didn't need the apology at all. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, the way, the way things had went down, like I already knew that I was, you know, covering my tracks and wiping my hands with the situation or whatever the case may be. But I felt like, you know, the apology was more so for her, like she needed it. You know, for her own sanity and, you know, just for her, for her, because shit went left, right? There's no bad blood, there's no, there's no beef, it ain't no hate, it ain't no none of that, but we don't gotta keep in touch. It ain't, it ain't that. What happened with your last real relationship? What happened? Shit got crazy. Shit got crazy. Y'all seeing it? Shit got, shit got wow. It's a lot of, like, behind the scenes shit that y'all didn't see, but I feel like... Y'all also peep because it's like, you know, where is this person and why y'all not doing this? And, and it's okay for people to like go in their own corners, but it just started to get like, it was just, it was no, it was, it just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't there. And I don't know, I really can't try to reflect and remember how I feel. Felt. Get off my damn porch! Cause you up there, y'all. This bird be shitting on my porch. Get the fuck down! If I see one drip of shit, I feel like he trying to shit. How do birds shit? Yeah, no. Oh, he going to his spot. He is trying to shit. Get, get off my damn porch. Yeah, like that was so long ago. I really can't even like take myself back to. It just got to a point where it's like, yo, I don't have to be under this roof, like feeling how I'm feeling, tip, feeling like I got a tiptoe and not being comfortable. I don't have to be under this roof. I had another place to go lay my head and be, you know, comfortable. And so I did that. You know what I mean? And yeah, let's get into the questions from YouTube. Get the fuck up out the way, success is all up on my mind, nah I ain't conceited, I'm, I'm a different breed it. Catch you slipping, best belief, I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho, turn your wife to my hoe Yeah, I pop a lot of shit, but I swear it ain't no typo You smoking on that cat piss, I smoke a lot of gas, bitch of Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch